All right, just want to take time to show you a live trade that I'm in right now. Um, as you can see right now, it's in there for 55 pips. And what I did, um, this is the uh, Aussie Yen. And if you look at the Aussie Yen on a, uh, on a daily chart, that's where I get my bias from. You can see that they had this long wick here. And then the trend was up bounced off of this spot here came back up hit close to that spot and then bounced down the over, the overall trend is up so I'm looking for um, long opportunities on a daily chart we broke this level here I got, I'm using my um, Ikimoku cloud I had a uh, I had price break this um, Kijun right here and I'm still on the uh, this is a bearish cross still so waiting for that to cross over it would be a perfect signal but the uh, Chikao span is in just above the price at this level here but if you take it to the hourly chart that's where I trade from you'll see that the Chikao span is above price I have a uh, bullish cross, a TK cross, bullish cross, and I'm above the cloud. So it's all a strong signal. That's strong signals. Um, this level here, I waited for it to break this level. I could have got in the trade here. I seen it come here, then I saw it break back down. I, when I seen it come here, I could have got in. I believe I did get in for just like 29 pips, and then I got out. And then it stayed in this uh kind of like this uh rangy motion uh rangy motion right here and then finally it's over here it came up here and tested this support and resistance area this is support and resistance area i didn't put my lines in there but you know i could see it on the chart you could see where it was ranging here it was kind of rangy here this was the top of this area where the range was so i wanted it to break that area once it broke that area you could see i got in right there on this break right here the trade didn't go on my favor right away but I have a pretty nice stop my stop actually more technical would have been below this level here but I was you know this was a 44 pip stop for me and I don't really want to go too much more with it because I wasn't exactly sure if this would come back and test this area again and then stop me out so I would have had to make a large area a large um, stop but when you look at it here, every sign is is um, bullish on this chart for the Chikao, uh, for the Ikimoku cloud. So right now I'm in this trade for 55 pips, and where I'm taking it to, I'm taking it all the way up here, and that's going to be 211 pips. So I'll ride it till it goes there. It'll go up and it'll come back. It'll retrace and then it'll go up and retrace and go up and then when it hits that spot that's where I'm looking at. I'll move my stop each level I'll move to the next area of support and resistance or the next fractal uh, low or fractal high depending on where it is. Um, I'm not going to get worried that this comes back and test this area again and comes back up. As you can see um, my uh, cross here, my bearish cross, my bullish cross here and once that stays like that, I'm not going to worry about the trade really. Price will come back and test this area here. It could come back and then go back up. It's going to keep doing that. So you have to let your winners run and your losers cut them short. But on the key June, price could come back to this area. Once that key June breaks this uh, support and resistance line here and you have everything past that support and resistance area, I could move my stop up to there. Um, also looking you could see the reason I made my target here is because that's really the last really area of support and resistance major support and resistance you have little zones here little zone we passed that area we'll be coming up on a little area right here then a little area here but then here's a major area so I'm taking a trade to that major area of support and resistance and I'll just move my stop with it. Also 
we could look at USD CAD. I put a video out the other day telling you that when it broke this level, I was going to get into the trade. It's testing this level now. It's coming down to that level, and we're pretty close. I have a price alert in for this level, so what I'm going to do right now is probably take that price alert out and then I'll watch for when it comes to that area once it breaks this area it's free selling you have a, a, bull, a bearish cross on your TK cross your Chico spans cross, uh, bullish your price is bullish underneath the cloud your cloud is turning bullish and getting wider and starting to go on an angle see that angle so that's a good trade coming up after it breaks this um, what area is this 95 69 area okay so and also the reason I got into that trade if you look on a daily the whole trend has been down like I said and I put some Fibonacci's in after this recent move this high and this low and we came up it passed the 38.2 and then it went up to the 50% and bounced off of there made a nice doji on a daily and then it started coming down. I didn't get in the trade after the doji. I wanted to get to a level where I was sure that price was coming down. And here is that level on the hourly. That level on the hourly. I wanted to break this support and resistance area right here. I didn't want to get in here and be bouncing around and not knowing what was going to happen. So I waited for Once you clear this level here, you got uh, some free sale. And here's some little areas of support and resistance. You, you, uh, trade may retrace a little and then come back down. You move your stop down to that level. You move it to this support and resistance level, and then you move it down to this level. And you ride that trade all the way down there. I didn't uh, exactly put a stop loss area in for this. I'm going to look it over and see where I think that the price will really go. But I think I'll put it in here. But I'm going to look it over real good just to be sure. On the daily, it looks like if I did put a stop loss in, I mean, if I did put a target price in, it would be right here. Right down here to test this area again. And then another trade is the Aussie US dollar. This is going to, if you, if I trade on this, you're looking at the daily. It's going up, so we're in an uptrend, so you look to go long. We'll go to the hourly. Everything is uh, bullish here. We broke the cloud. We got a TK cross. Our uh, cheek out spans above price. And really, you know, right here is where I should have got in this trade if I was getting in. Right at this level right here because this is the next area of support and resistance. So what I may do, if I even get into this trade, I'll let it go up, retrace, and then I'll get in. It looks like mm, we'll see what's going to happen here. The hourly's up. So, um that's that on that trade if you take this to the daily this would be my area right here where I would put in for my um, profit and I go back to the hourly to find out where I would set my stop loss now my stop loss if I got in here I would probably set my stop loss right here a little bit below this level right here see where this low is this recent low and I would have to break that now if you don't like that because of how many pips it would be let's see how much that is that's like 91 pips if you don't like that then maybe you don't get in the trade so those are things you have to think about you could put it here a little bit above here that may save you 10 pips or so let's see what that is and take you down to 68 so you just have to see if the if it's too much of a stop loss for you if it is you might not want to get into the trade but um, other than that those are the three trades that I'm looking at right now from a quick glance and things that I had written down I write my plans out and see which trades I'm gonna take and I put in you know price alerts so it's a it's a game for me I'm a coach I'm coaching this game and I got my game plan in and my game plan set my weapons I'm using my arsenal what plays I'm calling it's all like playing football that's what we're doing alright I hope I help somebody out and until next time God bless so long <laughs>